네, 좋은 노래예요. 네. Recuérdame. Recuérdame. Oh. Recuérdame. Remember me. 영화 코코의 OST에서 들었습니다. 정말 상 받을 만한 노래인 것 같습니다. We're back with Morning Date and today we are talking about uh, Mexico, its culture with Christian from that country. Okay, so I'm sure that you get this question a lot, people asking about Mexico yeah. and the culture, but uh, it's quite curious. Like, how did you end up here in Korea? Because as <coughs> I said, it's <coughs> geographically quite far away. That's, yeah. How many hours of flight do we uh, have it's 14 hours now with the direct flight. Uh-huh. Before it would used to be like 18 hours. 18, 18 hours, 19 with, hours. With a stop over? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but 14 hours, that's 14 like hours, from... That's, uh, uh, it's same to like going to the United States or, or Spain from here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Very much. So how did you uh, how did you? Get to Korea? <coughs> well, uh, I first I, I was in Mexico. I watched by accident these Korean entertainment shows. Oh. <laughs> and I get engaged. Uh-huh. You know, I was like, wow, that's amazing because we don't have this yenin thing yeah. in Mexico. So it was pretty uh, interesting for me to watch. And there's also this this kind of subtitles like yenin yes. chugin subtitles that bang 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 yeah, yeah in, the, in the bottom. So. Uh, do they translate that into Mexican? I and I was like. Thinking, I wish I could understand at least this kind of subtitle. Uh-huh. So I started uh, studying by myself Korean oh. uh, during six months. Um, then uh, I I got a year ex- or, or experience studying Korean, and then I, I got to come here. Yeah. Uh, I was here. Yeah, 한국어 그렇게 혼자서 배우기 쉽지 않을 텐데. 북한어로 배우는 게좀 힘들어. 네, because Korean yeah. is definitely I can say it's one of the most difficult languages in the world. It is. It's, it's quite different. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, all the all the languages have their yeah. pros and cons. We don't uh, have alphabets. We have our own characters. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you use Hanja sometimes. Yes. Uh, it, it was quite difficult, but uh, I was really interested in the Korean culture. I was really wanted to come here mm-hmm. and like hang around with people, talk with people, uh, see what l- l- Korea looks like. Uh, so I got some money working in a mine site in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Uh, mine site? Yes. yes. Mine, like yeah, mine? like mining was copper. Mine really? Site. Yeah. I was not the miner. Uh-huh. I was working as a translator. Oh, 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 there. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Uh, I was working there as a translator because mm-hmm. that mine site was... Um, Korean people bought it, oh. so there was a lot of Koreans working there, but they cannot communicate. So I was doing the translation there. Mm-hmm. Then I came here to Korea, and I was um, studying 3D animation during six months. Then I, I started working as a Spanish teacher, and uh, and one day I got the opportunity to be on TV, mm-hmm. and then I, I could ah, keep talking about Mexico TV. Yes. 그런데 우리가 가끔 들어보는 게 K-pop이 미국 yeah. 쪽에서 갑자기 우리가 생각했을 때는 미국 유럽 이런 데보다 막 뜬금없이 남미에 있는 나라에서 인기를 끌고 BTS도 상당히 인기가 많아요. 난리가 났어요. BTS가 그렇게 유명한데. 아니 근데 어떻게 알게 됐을까? 예를 들어서 언어가 같지도 않고 그런데 우리나라 문화 가서 how big is it really? It's pretty big, you know, and I think it regards on the quality of the music. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's pretty different for from what we are used to here. And also the internet, uh, it's doing a big, uh, I, I think it's an important thing to consider because before, back in the days when there was not internet exposition, it was really hard to get to know these kind of new groups uh, from other parts of the world. Yes. But now with the internet, just going to YouTube and those kind of sites, mm-hmm. you can get so many content and uh, actually groups can get famous internationally and yeah. that's helping uh, us in a lot of ways and and I think it's thanks to the internet. 네. Yeah. 그런데 제가 생각했을 때는요. 저는 뭐 자세히는 모르지만 왜 남미 사람들이 흥이 많다고 하잖아요. Mm-hmm. We say you know South American Latin, Latin Americans have this like passion yeah. and they like to show it. Yes. 그래서 그런 게 우리나라 사람들이랑 좀 비슷하지 않나. Mm-hmm. 왜냐면 we're in the same Asian country yes. but many people say that Koreans are the craziest. Oh. In terms of music loving, you know, they say uh, Japanese people are uh, mostly very courteous, they're uh, very well behaved, so they're uh, calm and quiet, but Korean people, we like to show it out. So maybe that that cultural craze, you know, yeah. was something that we could have in common. Yeah, that's true. Actually, I heard some people saying that Korea 
is the Mexico from Asia. Mm -hmm. Remember, yeah. I don't know if you uh, you have not experienced it, but I'm sure that you've seen on TV how we reacted to when we had the World Cup. Oh in yeah, Korea. it's amazing. Yes, I mean, it's, how people, yeah. everybody like went crazy. We're so passionate, and yes. uh, we do a party with tequila. You do with soju, mm -hmm. you know. So we have a lot of all oh, similar aspects, different aspects as well. Uh, but it, it's it's really fun the cultural difference. So if you uh, once you came to Korea, yes. did you feel the I don't know, uh, did you feel the resemblance in some mm. ways? Mm. Uh, about uh, the, yeah, the, Mexican, the, yeah. the Mexican thing. And also the, the <clears throat> Korean, you know, culture. Yeah, actually, uh, people is very kind. Uh, I was I was kind of worried, like uh, people, uh, because I'm from the other part of the world. Yeah. Maybe the image of Mexico back in, in that at that time was not pretty good. Uh, so I was uh, a little bit worried that I will get like some sort of a rejection mm -hmm. from the people. But people, it's really nice. Uh, if you speak Korean, yeah. they will treat you really well. It doesn't mean that if you don't speak, they yeah. won't treat yeah. you well. That's not what I mean. But we're shy. That's the thing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. You get you get shy. That's it. So you just have to cross that barrier in order to get along with the Korean mm -hmm. people. They are amazing people. Yes. I love the Korean. 그러면 만약에 이렇게 멕시코에 있는 친구들한테 네. 한국이 이런 게 좋다라고 뭐 얘기한 게 있을 거잖아요. 네. 나쁜 것도 얘기하겠지만 물론. <웃음> 네. 그런데 좋은 거를 얘기했을 때 네. what do you what do you normally say to your friends back in Mexico? You know, what would you say? Hey, this uh, this is cool in Korea. You know, you should come. What I found pretty cool in Korea is actually the food. The food. Yeah, the food because you know in in Korea like they get the fish out of the water and eat it in like right away yeah. <laughs> like this kind of <clears throat> like raw fish mm -hmm. this kind of stuff you eat it but what I love about Korean food is that they arrange it really beautiful ah, <clears throat> oh, good. yeah that's <laughs> right yeah it's like it's like uh, I don't know for the eyes yeah. it's really good to see the Korean food setting I, I really love that so mm -hmm. I recommend a lot of Korean food to my friends one food I really recommend is tukbegi bulgogi Tukbul, it's amazing. I love tukbul bulgogi, and actually, it's the kind of taste uh, that Mexican people really like. So, um, she can now as a marine day where Urina Saram de um, she get on bepta in the negative general, kimchi to yakan, John Mekuma, Goki Demone, can the Mexico um, she to be on the mancha. And actually, I think the spiciness is different, it could be. When a Mexican food is spicy, you can feel it on your tongue, mm -hmm. but with the Korean food, you feel it on your throat. Oh, I think I think that's the difference. 네. Yeah, both of them are spicy. 네, yeah. 근데 한국 음식도 물론 우리가 청양고추 이런 게 있어서 맵지만 네. 멕시코 무슨 고추가 하바네로 뭔가 <웃음> 그 엄청나게 맵다고 <웃음> 들었는데 지역의 고추입니다. 네. 되게 위험해요. 네. <웃음> 그런데 정말 그런 음식 그, 그런 재료로 음식이 많이 나와요? Or is it also something authentic to Mexicans too? Uh, we we have it on some foods. Mm -hmm. uh, we usually have it like banchan yeah. kind of style because not all the people can eat in Mexico. Actually, we eat a lot of spicy food, but people that eat sabanero, we also be like, wow. That person oh, really? is amazing. Yeah. So. Yes. Oh my goodness! I cannot do that. <laughs> <laughs> all the Mexicans might be like disappointed about me, but I cannot do that. I have no. Yeah. Uh, but we we have it usually like at the side of our dish, people who wants uh, habanero or jalapeno mm -hmm. or whatever, they just put it on their dish and they eat it. Mm -hmm. We don't have it like inside the actual food. Ah, yes. okay. Yes. 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 In Korea, now you started your career That's on right. TV. Yeah. And well, what was the uh, what was the first chance? You know, how did it come by? It's uh, a pretty interesting story because uh, there was this show called Pijong Sang Hwe Dan, the debating show on Normal Summit, and um, I I knew that program exists when I was in Mexico. Oh. There was the first season already going on, mm -hmm. and uh, I was like, oh, I am by them. I wanna yeah. I wanna talk Korean that good. So I came to Korea and a friend uh, told me, hey, you should like uh, sign up there. Mm -hmm. I and mean, they're looking for people now. And I was like, 
yeah, I wish, but I don't have like enough Korean to debate about yeah. religion and politics, whatever. Mm-hmm. Not even in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my friend was like, okay. The next day, my friend came to me and I was like, I, I, signed, I, signed, you, I signed you up. Mm-hmm. Okay, your friend oh, signed you yeah, up. Yeah, my friend signed me up. And I was like, oh, thank you, but why? <laughs> why would you do that? And he was like, it's okay. They will not going to call you. And four months later, I think they called me and they were like, hey, we want to do an interview with you. So I went there and I got to be in the show. Wow. And that's how everything started. So I, I buy to my friend a lot of food. Yeah. <laughs> 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 어떻게 우리말을 저렇게 잘하냐 <웃음> 심지어 뭐 사투리 구상을 한 것도 있고 말을 할때 이런 제스처나 이런 것들이 너무 한국적인 사람들이 많은 거예요 Actually, my, Spanish, my Korean teacher back uh-huh. in Mexico, she was from Busan yeah. So I learned actually the Busan 사투리 at first Like the uh-huh. accent thing uh-huh. So when I first came to Korea, people were like 크리스티안, 너 Busan 같아, 아니? 아니, 안 왔는데요? People think, thought I was like 이상하게 Busan에 한 기간 Yeah. <웃음> 그런 생각이 들었었군요. <웃음> 그러면 나머지 분들도 그 프로그램이 있잖아요. 네. Let's talk a little bit about that program because as you said a lot of debates That's true. Yeah. take place. So yes. do you have to really study hard? Yes, we have. The, we, uh, the actual process of the show it requires a preparation of the entire week. We have the, the topic in a sheet of paper that we mm-hmm. have to prepare and we have to be ready in order to debate uh, the day of the show. So I, I got to know Mexico more than before, more, when, more than when I was actually living in Mexico. Mm-hmm. I know more about it now that I'm outside of it. Um, and uh, it's every week is different, the topic. Yes. So I got to know a lot of information about my country and, and, and it makes me proud some way mm-hmm. because I, now I can talk about, uh, about Mexico and Mexican issues uh, with some level of... Um, Uh, information that I can like provide 네. to the people. Yeah. 맞아요. 사실 따지고 보면 우리나라가 우리가 이렇게 살고 있어서 그렇지 더 모르는 것들이 있을 수가 있어요. 우리는 뭐잘 아는 것들도 있겠지만 가끔은 관광객들이 왔을 때 관광객들이 예를 들어서 서울에 인구가 음. 몇 명이고 그리고 어디 가면 뭘할수 있고 어디 가면 전통 가옥이고 이런 걸 우리보다 더잘 알기 때문에 아마 음, 뭐그 나라 사람이라고 해서 꼭 반드시 모든 걸다 알고 있을 거다. 아, 라는 거는 좀 어, 너무 욕심이 과한 게 아닌가 이런 생각이 듭니다. 자 우리 노래 한번 음, 듣고 한곡더 듣고 그리고 계속해서 크리스티안이랑 이야기 나누도록 하겠습니다. 이쪽 지역에 유명한 가수죠. 루이스 미겔. 루이스 미겔 엄청 많아요. 그 발라드 그 발라드의 왕이라고 네. 해서 <웃음> 조용필 같은 전통적인 네, 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 조용필 씨라고 생각하면 <웃음> 되는데 저도 어렸을 때 루이스 미겔의 노래를 들으면서 네. I don't speak Spanish. 그래서 I don't understand what this song is about. 아. 그런데 너무 심금을 울려가지고 네 그래서 뭔지 몰라도 진심인 것 같다. 아~ 그 진심이 무엇일까 이렇게 <웃음> 고민을 했었던 적이 있습니다. 저도 사랑하는 네, 루이스 미고엘의 노래 를 들을 텐데요. 오늘은 조금 더 멕시코의 그런 색채가 좀 짙은 노래를 띄워드립니다. La Fiesta del Mariachi. 네, La Fiesta del Mariachi 노래 듣고 오셨습니다. 우리 마리아치 이야기 많이 듣는데요. 네, 네 마리아치가 그냥 단어를 생각하면 누가 밥 먹고 있는데 아. 뒤에서 이렇게 멕시코 아저씨들이 그러니까 모자 쓰고 한명 기타 치고 한명 뭔가 흔들고 uh. 이거를 마리아치로 알리는데 What is the proper uh, explanation uh. for uh. mariachi? Uh, proper explanation for mariachi will be a Mexican traditional music band. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so uh, not, not only in restaurants, but in general. In uh, general, and yes, yes. Ah. I mean, so we call that band a mariachi or the mariachi band. Music? Yes, mariachi band. Mariachi band. You can call it mariachi band, and we play Mexican traditional mariachi band. Mm-hmm. It's like a trot, mm-hmm. like trot. Ah, trot, 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 trot. Yeah. yeah, it's like, like ah, trot. I see. Yeah. 그리고 이 제목이 La Fiesta del Mariachi 였잖아요. Yes. And we also talked about the Festival of the Dead. That's 그런데 right. 멕시코에서 가장 큰 페스티벌이 뭐예요? 예를 들어서 한국은 우리가 왜 구정 때가 yes. 있고 그 추석이 있잖아요. Yes. 그리고 뭐 미국 같은 데는 뭐 크리스마스가 있고 4th yes. of July 뭐 이런 것들이 있는데 How about Mexico? What would be the biggest festival? The biggest festival? Uh, I mean, if we consider that as a festival, we can say it's Dia de Muertos. Uh-huh. Uh, but some of the people, like, they think it's not 
quite a festival. Yeah. It's more like a respect day. Yeah. Uh, so we can say after that is Christmas day. It's Christmas. Yes, there's a lot of Catholic people in Mexico. Mm -hmm. So according to the Bible, uh, day that Jesus was, was yes. born and everything, the people tend to do uh, an actual festival out of it on every state of Mexico and it gets really big. We we do this traditional uh, beverage. That's it's similar to the Korean uh sujongga uh -huh. tea. Yes. We just put uh satang susu on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. oh it's yeah, sweet. Really, it's really sweet mm -hmm. and it's hot because at that time it, in Mexico it's really cold so we drink that and we do uh, this kind of Catholic uh, things yes. and it gets really big. Mm. Really. But talking about Catholics, uh, there was one thing that was quite amazing too from my point of view uh, that you know you use the name Jesus oh, yeah. A lot <laughs> yeah. in uh, in that country, and maybe it, is it for the uh, a common thing for Latin America? Or yeah, it's for? it's pretty common. Like I said before, we have a lot of Catholic people, mm -hmm. and uh, we use the names that are in the Bible. Yeah. So there's Jesus, there's Moses, uh, Jose, all yeah. those names. Uh, even if we use it, we don't have a problem with it. So I, within my friend, there's a lot of Jesus. Yes. That's Jesus. But in Korea, it's 네. like. <laughs> 특이했어요. Yeah. 왜냐하면 물론 미국을 비롯한 영어권에서도 성서에 나오는 이름 많이 쓰잖아요. They use a lot of uh, names from the Bible, but not necessarily Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> but uh, I was quite surprised that in Latin America, huh. someone told me that it was quite a common name. It's such a common name. We don't even actually get the thing that it's Bible related. It's mm -hmm. just a name. 네. Yeah. 그러니까 만약에 남미 쪽에 가서 누가 이름이 예수다 이러면 너무 축복받은 집안인가 뭐 이런 걸 생각 안 하셔도 될 정도로 흔한 이름이라고 합니다. 저는 그 이름을 처음에 아 옛날에 마돈나의 어린 남자친구 어린 잘생긴 남자친구 이름이 헤수스였어요. 근데 영어 스펠링을 보니까 지저스더라고요. 그래서 야 이런 이름을 쓸수 있는 자신감은 무엇인가? 우리나라의 GOD를 잇는 이런 자신감 했더니 아니라고 흔한 네, 이름이라고 네 흔한 이름이에요 그래서 그 점은 여러분들도 아시면 좋을 것 같습니다 자 아, 그리고 또이 얘기를 해봐야 되는데 네. 얼마 전에 한국은 처음이지 아, 네. 그래서 그 친구들과 같이 한번 네, 나와서 정말 인기를 많이 끌었는데 아, 어, You know how did that uh, opportunity came by. Oh, did well, you invite them? Or? Uh, yeah, I actually invited them. The, mm -hmm. the program was uh, about to get in the, in the first episode. So yes. they decided to go to Mexico with me. And uh, I invited those three friends. They didn't actually know each other. Oh. I knew the three of them, but uh -huh. they didn't actually like, spend time together. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of concerned, but at the same time, I was kind of sure they will get along well because yeah. I know my uh -huh. three friends, of course. So they came here, they got an amazing uh environment vibe mm -hmm. between them and they played a lot and they actually want to come back one of them he just wants to come back to get married actually really? <laughs> he really liked korean girls he uh -huh. says they're really beautiful oh yes of course well thank you very much but uh, uh so he is planning to come back just because he wants to have a family yeah yeah he was just wants to get married <laughs> that's it <laughs> <laughs> well we uh, well, that's a nice thing, but uh, you know what we see on TV. Yes. Uh, sometimes might be a little bit different from what actual life is because yes. we have this call, thing called pyeongji. Of and course. 가끔은, yes. 실제로 분위기는 어땠어요? Did they like it more or did they like it less? Or uh, what did you think personally? I think, uh, you know, being with cameras all the time will not let you enjoy uh, as you want yes. um, this Korean environment, experience, food, whatever. Uh, the second time they came, we were in my house without cameras, yeah. nothing, uh, spending three days together around the Seoul. Mm -hmm. And I could actually feel, I uh, felt how they feel about Korea. Like they really, really liked it. They wanted yes. to see like, this palace, and these uh, antique things, they want to see that a lot and they were enjoying it so much. Even without the cameras, I could feel exactly the same happiness yeah. and environment from them. So I was really happy to see that they really liked Korean. 네, 연기자들이 아니니까 아마 느꼈던 그 모든 것들이 얼굴에 고스란히 화면을 통해서 우리에게 전해지지 않았나 이런 생각이 듭니다. Oh, well, it's uh, unfortunate that it's already time for us to say goodbye. Oh. 
but I hope that I can get another chance later on of to course. talk more about uh, your culture, your career, and things like that. Yes. But uh, before you go, yes. well, uh, would you like to say goodbye to all of our listeners? Yes, of course. Uh, well, uh, I hope you keep loving Mexico, and if you don't know about Mexico, well, you need to start researching about Mexico, and why not? Why not just go there one time and then and see, meet the people, taste the food, and have an amazing, great experience, and come back to Korea and tell all your friends how how good is Mexico. <laughs> yes, thank you very much, and I'm sure that you'll be very busy, you know, working as this cultural ambassador yeah. and also as a TV personnel at the same time. <laughs> So before we go, would you like yes. to please give out the answer to the quiz question? Yes, so what is a well-known Mexican dish enjoyed by many people around the world? Answer is number one, guacamole. 네, 정답은 1번, guacamole였습니다. 아보카도 많이 들어가죠? 아보카도 많이 들어가죠. 네, 많이 들어가서. 그거 살찌는 거 아니에요? 아보카도? 아, 그거 아, 아보카도 피부에도 좋아요. 네, 피부에도 <웃음> 좋고 기름지고 옛날에 왕족들만 먹었다는 그런 <웃음> 맞아요. 소문이 있었습니다. 네, 그러면 우리 크리스티안의 앞길에 아주 탄탄대로가 열리길 바라면서 다음에 또 만날 날을 기약하겠습니다. 감사합니다. Thank you very much. 네, 감사합니다. 네, 자 크리스티안 보내면서 마지막 노래 한곡 띄워드립니다. Uh, this is Alicia Keys' Girl on Fire.